on a stand in a stream, cast troubles away on the end of a fly fishing rod. And when the day is done, I'll soak up the sounds and let nature bring me closer to God. It's a crazy world, spinning too fast, and we're all on a downhill slide. But peace will come when we gain control, and love has nowhere to hide. There is no better place to escape the crazy world than northern Michigan casting the waters of the Michigan trout stream. And no better person to share that escape with than folk singing fly fisherman Alan Kay. It's been quite a while since we last met. We decided it was time to unplug from our busy world, to relax and visit with Alan, and to talk fishing and about his new CD called The Last Cast. So on an autumn afternoon, our paths crossed once again along the banks of the rifle. Look at that, isn't it pretty? Yeah, it is. What would you say would be the best time to do fishing? Maybe? The time, the time you have available to try it. <laughs> <laughs> what would you cast from here? Any special places where you'd find a... Nice little trout, or oh yeah, they're all they're all through here. I don't see anything coming off the water now, but uh -huh. that doesn't necessarily mean anything either. Yeah, this looks good. I won't be using the traditional fly rod. Oh okay. It's called tenkara. It's fairly new to this country, but it's all over Europe. It originates in Japan. Really? Tenkara means from heaven. Oh. And it was uh, you'll see this thing. It's uh, pretty interesting. Hmm. So I've been playing with that this whole season. What's There's no hardware on it. There's no reel. Okay. And it's a telescopic. They say a rod, a line, and a fly. And it's very simple. But it's uh, very, very productive, too. We would never replace traditional fly fishing, but right. it's been a real hoot playing with it, though. Uh -huh. You know, it's fun. Hey, okay, uh, good luck with it? Mm hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. It wasn't developed for sport fishing, it was developed for uh, commercial. Uh -huh. And they would use this rod. This is hundreds and hundreds of years old, if not older. They would use it in the mountain streams in Japan. And uh, of course then it was, you know, many pieces of bamboo. But with today's, t today's fibers and technology, this is made of uh, carbon. This is 95% carbon. And in this little, little tube here is 11 feet worth of rod. And I'll just extend it all. There's no reel or any guides. It's just what you see. And it's really interesting. It's very effective because with fly fishing you want to maintain what they call a drag free drift. And uh, it's, it's almost impossible not to have a drag free drift when you're fishing this style. So with this centuries-old Japanese-style fly fishing called Tenkara, less is more. The soul of the fisher person becomes more in tune with the soul of the waters and fish, so to speak. As Alan tells us, when a fisherman or woman enters the waters, it can become quite a personal thing. Different experiences for different people. Barry, I don't know how that, I can't really explain it. It's, uh, it's just... You know, something, I, I it's just know. something nice. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know? It is. And there's a good tradition to it, and you could... You can do whatever you want with it. You, you know, you could buy millions of dollars worth of, worth of equipment if you mm -hmm. care to, and you can take trips to New Zealand or mm -hmm. Mongolia, or you could stay in your home state or just down the block or what. Mm -hmm. It's but it's the it's the act of fly fishing. It's uh, I don't know if I mentioned this to you before, but maybe I can clarify it by when when you're casting a fly. Every, it's, your attention is on the fly. You're watching it in the water. You're, you're, you're carefully mending it and making sure, I mean, it's a good cast and you want, of course, to catch a fish. Mm -hmm. But everything else comes into focus. Everything else comes into focus. It's not just the fly and the fish. You, you, you see the flora. You, you, you notice so much, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's what I really love about it. And... Uh, and that's true for uh, the other fly fishermen I know, too. Fly fishing and the emotion that goes with it is a passion of Alan's, as is composing, singing, performing, and recording ballads of his outdoor adventures. His latest CD is called The Last Cast, that not only spotlights his talents, but the talents of others. 
but the theme is much the same, the love of being one with the environment, especially while fly fishing. The album is just a whole, it's a real, it's a, a real effort of love, and it's actually really about love okay. and fly fishing. It's not, it's not an in-your-face kind of about love, mm -hmm. but it's, it's who we are, I and mean, we wouldn't, uh, I heard it put best this way, that <clears throat> nature is as beautiful as it is because of seduction, because we protect the things we love. Mm. And that pretty much could explain the, the concept of the last cast. There's a song, one, I always put a traditional song <clears throat> on the CDs, and this one was written in the 19th century by the Irish poet laureate uh, William Butler Yeats. It's called The Song of the Wandering Angus. Um, it's interesting. Uh, this is the first song I ever heard. It wasn't a song, it was a verse, but uh, the first one I ever read, I should say, that mentions the trout. And uh, we'll do that. Oh, the golden eye. 